Welcome back to another AutoWay video. Today we have this lovely 2013 Mercedes SLK in. What we're doing to it is we're going to add a spare key to the vehicle. We're going to do this using the XTOR X100 Pad Elite with the KC501 attached to it. So let's begin the process. So we'll go diagnosis, immobilization, then we're going to pick Mercedes. So that's on the Benz on XTOR. And then we're going to follow the instructions. So, infrared key system. We're adding a key. So, add key. This will perform the following functions. So, it'll read the IS information. It will get the password from the key. It will then generate a new key file, which then it will write the data onto your new key. And then that key will start the vehicle. So, complete the following steps. Connect the KC501, which we've connected. Red lights on, so we know it's all okay. We're going to insert an original key into the EIS, wait for five seconds and then remove it. So I'm just going to place this into the EIS. I'm not going to turn the ignition on, I'm just literally placing it in. We'll wait for five seconds and then we'll remove it. Now we're going to press OK. Please select, please select communication method with EIS. So we're going to have a read it via OBD, which I am at the minute, or we can use the infrared simulation key, which comes included in the box. So we'll do read via OBD. We're going to auto identify the vehicle because on this, I'm not too sure what this is. So we'll do an auto ID. There's the information about the vehicle. So we can just press next. Please complete the following. Insert the same original key into the lock, wait for five seconds, then remove. So same thing again, I'm just gonna place it into the IS. Wait five seconds. Remove the key, press okay. The original key has pass verification. The original key data will be collected soon. So we're going to insert the same original key into the infrared slot on the KC501. So the slot here, we're going to insert the key into that slot. And now it's going to read the data from that key. Right, so we've let the key generate the password. So that's gone through the process now, and then we've got the password up on the screen. So we'll press OK. The collection is completed. Please insert the program key into the EIS without turning on the ignition. Wait for 30 seconds, pull it out, and reinsert it. So we're going to get our original key, put it into the EIS. I'm not going to turn it on, I'm just going to wait now for 30 seconds. So we're going to pull it out and then we're going to reinsert it into the EIS. Gonna press OK. So now basically we're generating the key file. So there's our password, the key locator to be generated. So we're going to pick a slot. So I always just pick like a high up number, so number eight. OK. KC501, insert a new key into the KC501 slot. So now basically we're going to write the key file onto the new key into slot position 8. Right, successful. Operation complete. So if we now put our new key into the ignition. We have to just wait for the key to be initialized. So it'll just take a few seconds normally. That's been initialized. So now we should be able to turn the ignition on. Wait one moment and then start the vehicle. Move 
remove the key. Let's just check the locking features. Central locking good locks. Central locking unlocks. We'll just verify our original key still okay as well. Also, original key starts the vehicle fine. Original key still works on the central locking. So that's both keys programmed using the XTool X100 Pad Elite using our AutoWave RK39 Mercedes Benz key. And that's it, job done. Please like and subscribe our videos.